Good morning, everybody. This is Yipper X5, and uh, we are currently at the day after Christmas. It's uh, about almost 9 a.m. And uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about Zcash mining. Now, I have a uh, been testing this out a little bit. Um, it's seeming like it's going to be a little bit more profitable than Ethereum mining, um, especially because NVIDIA cards use quite a bit less power. Uh, so at the moment, this is my personal rig, my personal gaming rig. I got a, not the best for mining. This is just mostly for uh, testing and seeing which miner I like. At the moment, this one's showing a lot of rejections. I'm not really sure what's causing that. I'll have to do a little bit more investigation in it. But uh, <clears throat> right here is a uh, GTX or it's a Zotac GTX 10 fit or 1060 six gigabyte version. Um, I believe this is the extreme or the overclocked version for the mini. Um, no, it's the mini. It's the mini, but uh, it does it does do pretty well. Um, you can see we're getting about 283 souls. Uh, I don't know if I have hardware manager on this one. Do not have hardware monitor. Um, I do have EVGA though, Precision XOC, and uh, we can actually see that it's using about a 0.9, nearly uh, one volt. Uh, I have the settings at uh, minus 85 or uh, minus 15 percent uh, power. GPU and memory clocks are the same. I have the fan bumped up to 80%, so it's sitting at about 23.9 to 40 or 2400 RPM. Um, that noise you're hearing is the heater in the room kicking on because these are quite. It's not. This is the card's not quite good enough to heat up my whole room. Um, but uh, just doing some tests in here and whatnot. Uh, keeping the cards at about 70C, which is uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice, actually. I have to say so. Um, I didn't think I could keep them that cool, but I can. Uh, the room is uh, 68 degrees, or at least trying to be 68 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and uh, so I might drop the temperature a few degrees and see if that helps them out. But uh, yeah, these cards, these cards do really, really good. Um, I found out that uh, my old <clears throat> motherboard, or maybe the riser cables, aren't doing too well because uh, I really want to talk about these guys. And I wish I could show you a video of these right now, but they're uh, they're being kind of difficult. Um, what I have right here are uh, two different GTX 1050Ti's. Um, both of them are from. Yeah, sorry about the mess in here. You know, I just kind of moved into this room. I uh, still need to clean it up a little bit. But uh, these are two different gigabyte um, GTX 1050Ti's. I have five of these guys. And these are the non-powered versions, so you cannot put a 6-pin power in there. They get all of their power through the PCI Express slot. Um, the I.O. is also kind of limited in this one. See, we have an HDMI, a data port, or display port, one, and uh, DVI. Also, it has no backplate, which is uh, not, not, not too big of a deal. It doesn't really matter. Um, but all in all, I mean, it looks like a good card. It hashes at 170 souls, which is pretty solid. Um, doesn't use a humongous amount of power. With a little bit of undervolting, I can actually drop that power down a lot. Like I think they use 70 to 60 watts um, each. <clears throat> and then uh, it's, it's also the same thing for these. Um, actually, th these use a touch more. I think it's because bigger fans, higher RPMs, you know, whatnot, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so 170 hashes. 170 hashes, 60 to 70 watts stock, 70 to 90 watts stock. No, se no. I'd say 65 to 75 watts stock because I think the highest I saw was a 75 watt increase on the on the uh, from the wall when I activated another one of these. Um, the highest I saw here was like a 68 watt. A little bit of underclocking, I can drop that down to under 50 watts pretty easily and not impact the uh, mining or the stability of the rig too, too much. Um, 
And then uh, with this one, this one underclocks to nearly the same, uh, just a couple volts higher, or a couple watts higher, and uh, it does a good job. I like I like this one though because it's got the six pin up here. Uh, it's also got a ton of uh, a ton of options for display. Um, like you've got uh, is that two HDMI's or no? Yeah, you have uh, two HDMI's, a Display Port, three HDMI's. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so three HDMI's, Display Port, and uh, DVI. Uh, yeah, some of those have some covers on them. I'm not really having a good morning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these aren't. Uh, I don't know. They're not too bad. Um, I have four of these, and I have five of these because that's all I could get off of uh, you know Newegg at the time, um, which was a few days before the filming of this. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I ordered some other ones a long time ago, uh, they're different versions of the 1050 Ti, so all in all, I want to try and put together about three rigs of six cards, and, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going with the, uh, MSI Carbon, um, Z270 motherboard, I'm gonna put a Pentium 4400 in there, eight gigabytes of, uh, some G-Skill Rift Jaws RAM, DDR4, uh, nothing too special there, and uh, well, I mean, G Skills make some good RAM, but uh, I don't think it has too high of a megahertz or anything like that. So, some pretty simplistic stuff. But I went with the eight gigs to kind of give me a little extra wiggle room. I went with the mid-range Pentium because I wanted some more power because I felt like maybe using the Celerons were a little yeah they sipped on the power, but they didn't seem to give. Uh, I, I feel like maybe they were the bottleneck of the system, so what I'm going to do is uh, try out a different type of rig and see what happens. Um, but yeah, these two cards I feel are going to be um, very, very good. Uh, what I was planning on doing was uh, using, maybe if I can, I don't remember exactly what the layout of the board is, but I think I'm going to put two of the non-powered ones on board and then four of these up in some riser cables because uh, I got some new risers coming. That's another thing I want to talk about. So I had some problems with these riser cables and uh, before you say anything, no, I did not use this Molex to say to, to power them. I actually used Molex directly from the power supply and ran it in. So this little adapter thing is just kind of here for show to show that it is a Molex. Um, as you can see, they're, uh, they're version 6. Um, to focus. Uh, these things, I don't know if they went bad. Uh, I know they got odd enough for the backing. They had some kind of foam pad on the back of it, which uh, that, that just fell off. But they were they were suspended and they weren't touching anything, so I didn't really give too much thought into it. And uh, they got the little USB adapter down here, long USB cable. Um, so these USB cables uh, on, on the, the AMD rig, they started like sweating um, up here near the top, like really close to where the fins were for the heat sinks for the uh, the GPUs. So what I think happened was, is while it was sitting in there, you know, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So while the card was sitting in there, and uh, you know, doing its mining thing. I think what happened was, is it was expelling a chunk of its heat through a gap or something. It wasn't this type of card, the cards were a bit longer. But I think it was expelling some of its heat. And it was either melting this cable, because I don't think there's any, I don't think 75 watts goes through a USB cable. I'm not sure if that's how that works, I don't think so. So there's no reason that cable should have been getting that hot. Usually people tell me that, uh... <clears throat> These uh, these Molex to SATA connectors are the things that start melting. Um, I did try them for a little bit at first, and uh, when I switched over to straight Molex to the thing, I didn't really notice any difference. Uh, the new riser cables I have have the six-pin power going in, and I believe they go they can go from uh, SATA to six-pin. So uh, that will be much better power delivery-wise. I feel like those will be a much better option. Uh, plus, I have um, a ton of six-pin um, adapters for my power supply, 
So yeah, cable mods is pretty nice. You can get some cool stuff, get some nice custom lengths. You can make some really neat rigs that are uh, properly wire managed. Um, my biggest thing is because I use openers. I'm not going to show you right now because this, this room's a wreck. I haven't really. I just cleared up a spot to try and test up some cards and found out that all three of my motherboards are screwing up or the risers are screwing up. One, one, one of the two things is, is not doing too well. But uh, so I went ahead and ordered a new risers, new motherboard, have a new power supply coming in, um, new processor, new stick of RAM. So basically, I'm going to try a brand new rig and see, uh, see what happens there. Um, but yeah, I don't, everybody told me, you know, use, use a higher vert generation of, uh, of the riser cable and, you know, you won't, you won't see any problems, but, uh, you know, these are revision sixes and I thought that's a reasonably high version number. So, uh, what gives, why am I running into all of these issues? And, uh, that's when somebody told me that it's because these, uh, these Molex connectors will sometimes zap these risers. Uh, I'm not sure I entirely understand that. So, you know, obviously some more investigation will be necessary. But yeah, I just want to talk about these uh, Gigabyte... Gigabyte somethings. I don't remember what their exact model number is. I'll have to get back to you. But yeah, so uh, this is a uh, little bit of a Zcash update. Um, I hope you guys have a a uh, wonderful holiday and hope you had lots of fun and be safe and keep mining and we'll uh we'll see you guys the next time bye